Hey, you're watching something from the channel Doomstash, and this is not going to be Nutballs, it's going to be a different comic of mine, as you probably can tell from the title of the video. Um, this will be on 1,000 Feet T-Rex, and... This is based off of, like, I don't know, me, like, seeing, like, dinosaurs and stuff in movies and just Jurassic Park in general. I mean, come on. Like, <laughs> uh, I mean, it's not going to be from this. It's not going to be from that. Instead, it's going to be from my, I think, my very first journal. I think it is. This. And it says journal on it. And it has like kind of a see-through look. To show my weird freaking even older comic stuff. And it was still 2006. Don't get me wrong. I mean, still 2006. Movies. See why. As in it was supposed to be comedy or something. Or I don't know. I guess. Canada G to Canada 14 for some reason, and also PG to black and white R, so, you know, because I felt like it, I don't know why this, I guess this is just me being weird, and oh yeah, here's the star, I, I'm glad that I got the exact date, for some reason, I'm just kind of oddly glad at that March 11th at 11.55 a.m. 2006. I don't know why I didn't get that or <laughs> the time for uh, Enemy Robots or uh, not Enemy Robots, Nutballs. Um, so yeah, this is a thousand feet T-Rex. Apparently, hang on a second, something wrong with, what I meant to say was there's something wrong with the camera, as in power struggle, don't want it to die on me, just hang on a second people, anyways I'm back, I have it in a portable charger, so it's not going to die on us, it's not, um, so yeah, this one, as action, comedy, and yeah, no adventure, I guess. I kind of crossed out at the adventure part. I'm kind of just... Uh, 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 there we go. Oi. Oi. It's kind of cramped over here. Hold on a second. Yeah, sorry about the shakiness. I mean, it's a little shaky right now, but... Yeah, it's not going to be... That is shaky jakey. Damn, look at that T-Rex. Look at that freaking brain. And this was like... When I was... 11. Yeah, I was making this. This type of shit. When I was 11. Damn, that is... That is some brutal ass shit right there. His ear fell off. Yeah. Apparently there's Yeah. Yep, I'm gonna just try and roll with it. I kinda cross out and um those I don't think it would be four hours. In actuality, if I made it into like an actual movie, it's eighty eight minutes. Thousand feet T Rex, and there's a T Rex looking all angry. <sighs> yep, looking all angry and stuff, going arg, yeah, 2006 again, so, I mean, I kind of made this part like a movie poster, and that, that's, that's,
that's very cool. Now, we're at the first page, Cha Wan, the big lab. And that's supposed to say something about cult or something in, at a T-Rex. Saying they saw a T-Rex or something, and then this person says, hey, you don't really see them yet until here. Yeah, one of them looks like he has Goku hair. Super Saiyan hair, but I don't know why the fuck I did that. I mean, I did see Dragon Ball Z back then. Yeah, even when I was 11. Ah, uh, yeah. That's, if you know about Dragon Ball Z, you know it's a weird show. And also, look at that car. Perspectives. Yeah. Um, so yeah, here is Dragon Ball Z hairs. There's that guy who has like three hairs, and then this guy who has more, uh, normal hair. And you can see that I made all the figures hit. Stick figures have like, uh, giant ears. All the people have giant ears. He says, cool, and he says, hmm, or ha, or something. Something of the sorts. Alright, he's supposed to be saying stuff first. I kind of tried to do like a perspective thing, but every ju everybody's head just looks like a flattened pancake. Like, look at that. That is just wrong. Hi, I am... Mr. Bob. Hi, Mr. Bob. That is such such a dumb name. Such a dumb last name that I cannot even speak any words about it. Other than Hi, Mr. Bob. Anyways, um, so yeah, T Rex puts its foot through the building and to notify. Hey, I'm here, bitches. Basically. You jackass. And it's like, no, that guy says no. You jackass. Goku hair says you jackass. No regular hair guy says no. And what happens? Well, from the looks of that... You're not dead. It, even though clearly... He's pretty dead. He says no. I think that's the uh, three-haired guy that says no. And look at the three-haired guy's positioning of his legs. Like what the, f what what the? And that's all I can say. All right, you're not dead. Even though he is. No, no, no. And it's like a character you just met, but yet you're. So affected by this like if you knew him for many many years or something like that like what the fuck was I thinking <laughs> oh my god the writing in this is like a child oh wait it's because I was a child oh it makes sense <laughs> Oh, the writing and storytelling. Oh, man. Watching all those IHEs. Anyways, um... Those IHE videos. Oh, yeah, Cha 2. Guess what? It's called... Mr. Bob is Dead. You know, clearly he says he's not dead. Okay! Cha 3, the Dino Lab 2. They, they just, so basically, the dinosaur just put his foot through there, and, uh, they just made it the sequelization, it's the same building, and You, you know, you know, 
It's just like at this point, I'm done. I'm floored. You're immediately floored after the first two pages. Oh boy. They just just put a sign up there. They don't have any fixing of the building, which they probably do, I mean. We forgot this fucker, this fucker right here. Okay, chapter four. Thousand Feet T-Rex is back. Even though clearly that's not the foot of a thousand feet T-Rex, but whatever. I guess the perspective of the stairs, like, they get larger a little bit. Eh, I don't know. Very, very slight, but as you see... Probably not that much. But yeah, that, uh... It's not a thousand feet T-Rex. You can definitely see it here. He's... Really, like... Okay, just imagine if this guy had, like, average height. Like, five... Foot, six inches or something like that. Something like that. I mean, this generation of people are getting, like, taller and taller. So it could be, like... Five foot seven inches or five foot eight inches, I don't meh. But somewhere around the average height. And and just look at the ratio of him compared to the T Rex's legs. This T Rex is not a thousand feet as seen here. He is not a thousand feet. And there's Goku here, kid. Which... You see this. The size of three-haired guy and go and Dragon Ball hair here. That is fucked up proportions, I can tell you that. But then, we go on to the next page. He's all bloody and thirsty and three-haired guy is dead. The guy we just met. Yeah. And regular hair guy is like, no, and, and freaking freaking house head. Building head. Whatever I, <laughs> whatever I feel like calling him is just uh, sorry about that. He says dork. Anyways, um, we need a gun, regular haired guy says, and then building hair, gats again, now it's cool, now it's cool, yeah, it's, it's cool that he shot a gun, and I tried to make a racing, and where the fuck did you come from, anyways, <laughs> This, this is so, so spontaneous. It, it, I guess it was kind of fitting of me, <laughs> a little bit, to copy Cha 5. Yep, this is how the Cha's all started, people. It's how the Cha's all started. Alright, there's regular haired guy. Little copy. As you see, he points the gun at his head. The top of his head shoots off the neck. Head. Neck. Comes off. The head comes off. As in, not the top part of the skull. Not, not the top part. As in, it's shown right here. It got the neck. And somehow, that one bullet that... That just... Just kind of wanted to stay around the T-Rex's mouth... Just came... Flying that way! For... I don't know what reason. And you're gonna even... Flip out even more! The next chapter... Chaos 6, the Dino Lab is destroyed. 
Dino Lab 2 is destroyed. Because of the fucking bullet. Yeah. It explodes. And... Yeah, there were still scientists in there and stuff. Like that guy right there. Poor guy. At least he didn't have to deal with it. He had the freaking wood in his mouth. Yeah, that's the same guy. That had the wood in his mouth. But yeah, it gets this... It, it fucking explodes because of the bullet. <laughs> it's one of the most craziest things ever. He just... It gets even better. It just it just gets better. No, the Dino Lab and Scribble. No, the Dino Lab and Scribble. Which he's supposed to like supposed to like continue saying stuff. Hmm, here's a thing. How about I make the fucking bubble things a lot bigger? Oh wait. I only have nut balls these days. Seriously, they're. I only have nut balls. I could make some other uh, types of comics. Like, I don't know. Should I make a Voltron one? I don't know if I should. It'd probably be terrible. Nut balls is like one of the best things. Might have made. It's probably no exaggeration because the story these days is like a lot better, I'd say, than back then. But it was more of a comedic effect back then. But, anyways, Cha 7, the UFOs. Yeah, I'm not even joking. You just UFOs randomly appear. Like that. They just. There's like instant action already. No. And those lines are supposed to be like lasers that are being shot down. He he just he just barely got hit, or almost got hit, something like that. Yeah, and that's like the uh, beam of light or something like that that the you know UFOs do that they like to do. And he picks up the regular haired guy. No, yeah, the T-Rex chomps at that UFO. That laser shoots out and tries to get him as well. He's like, no. He's like, yes. Because of the... Because of the T-Rex, you know. And yes, again. Cha-8, the picture. I mean... I'm trying to explain this to you. You just gotta look for yourself, like... He's is a brat, which I tried to cross that out, the S, but it looks like it just got in the middle. He's is a brat, but he is good brat. The A is kind of faded away, so it looks kind of more like, but he is good brat. He is good brat. It's like a fucking caveman talking, like, really? Age 18. Year 2001. Yeah, this... This whole thing... 1,000 feet T-Rex is supposed to take place in the year 2001. 2001 Space Odyssey. Anyways, um... Yeah, I haven't seen that movie. So I shouldn't even comment. But I did anyways, because I'm a douchebag sometimes. No, I'm just an ace. Alright. Yeah. A chapter for just one fucking picture. For a picture. One picture for a picture. Yeah, that's very catchy. Yeah, there's three for the UFOs. And also one for this one called... The T-Rex's teeth are gone. Because bit into that UFO, and now his front teeth are gone. And he is like, yes, the dinosaur is like, rawr. Because reasons at this point. 
because why not? Sorry about that, people. Alright. Chapter 10, Bye Bye T-Rex. I should have put some E's there and just put one there and put one there. There you go. And also, put one there and put one there. Anyways, um, now of course he says no, because that's his favorite word. Only judging from this and this, I guess. Just judging from that. Yep, and, yeah, these bullets are made out of magic or something, so, uh, they just randomly go to the, this bullet just randomly goes to the T-Rex's back. Says, he says yes first, and just not holding the gun, and his, his, like, neck explodes or something, and his head just flies off. Like, dang. <laughs> it's just ridiculous. The end. The end. Sorry about that. Um just doing things. So yeah, there is a sequel and another sequel and then, yeah. But that's for another time. Anyways, that was a nice trip down memory lane, I guess. So hopefully you like this video and stuff. Subscribe. Because... Why not? Anyways, this came from Channel Doomstash. Yeah. See you later.